Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about a very critical topic, which is artificial intelligence. So this artificial intelligence name is called Sora, and it animates video, it makes videos. But before I get to what I want to say, I just want to uh, give you a concept of the sheer magnitude of what this thing can do. This thing is so powerful, a normal person can't even tell the difference between uh, when a professional filmed a 4K video on a drone or a camera or what this AI has created. And there's no references whatsoever, it just draws and make it as real as it, as it is. By the way, by the end of this video, I'm going to show you a few videos of what Sora can do, but I'm going to give you 5 points of what this thing can do. And now to my first point, which is the power of AI. So, I haven't told you guys about how Sora works. Well, Sora works just like ChatGPT. Well, basically. Because all you have to do is prompt. Prompt is basically when you write a few words to describe it enough for the AI to present what you want. Of course, it has to be a little bit detailed, but it's at your fingertips. You don't have to fly all the way to China or Japan to film some 4K shot with a thousand dollar worth of cameras. Instead, you just sit down on your computer and type a few words. Maybe it'll take like two hours or maybe three hours just to figure out the right prompt. But by the end of the three hours, instead of being in I don't know, your airport or China or Japan or any beautiful scenery places that you can imagine, you would have been presented with a video caught in 4K but not actually caught but drawn by Sora in 4K. I don't know why I keep saying 4K but then 4K is the best description I can give as a person that watches YouTube and don't film in any sort of production industry. But the, uh, 4K is my way of saying that it's very good. So it is actually very good. You can of course kind of tone it down because the point of AI is that it will draw it to your liking. But it's amazing. The, the standard is amazing. The details are just out of this world. And now my second point, which is disruption across industries. So the first thing that comes to mind when we talk about Sora for people that does business is that how do we use this? Or, man, this thing's going to completely trash the industry that I'm in. Like, for example, there's about 875,000 um, videographers in the US and, it, and they earn about $62,000 a year. Similarly, there is about 2 million animators in this entire world and they earn about $75,000 a year. So. These people, I hate to say this, but you can just see them being replaced. Videographers, they still have a chance, wedding videos, or perhaps wildlife videos where they want the real thing. But maybe in the future, the wildlife videos aren't even real anymore. You know, who knows? But animators, oh, they're so good at animating anime. Wow, Demon Slayer looks so good. Would a company just rather sit down for the next 10 hours to draw that with their fingers or would they rather hire a lot of animators that will probably cost them a few hundred thousand dollars to create something at that quality? You see, you can just see what's going to happen just if you, if you just simply think about it even at a very shallow level. So anyways, it's not just them, you know. How about those camera companies, lenses com companies, or even stock video companies? And let's just not talk about the employment yet. And on my third point, which is economic ramification. So this is going to strongly affect our economy. And that's for sure it's going to happen. Um, the first thing is going to be affected is jobs. There's going to be a lot of unemployment. And there's going to be less productivity, less money flow. Um, supply chain problem, it goes on. And we don't even know the full extent of this problem yet. Well, just for example, Netflix is willing to pay about $900,000 for a AI manager position. 
So the world is going to be shifting into people that can use AI productively. And it's going to be very hard. It's going to hit the world really hard because what are they teaching in courses right now? IT, accounting, so on. But that's all you can do laborly, you know. But these AIs are going to replace those things. We're going to be competing in a world where who can use AI best, who can make better AI. And that's very scary. And also, Sora is not just a normal artificial intelligence because they have been collecting data and it truly understands deep down based on its own brain. It understands what you're trying to call him to do, to make. That's why it is able to come up with the product of what you imagine it to be because it collected data of how human thinks and he thinks like a human. So that's the very scary part as well. And now my fourth point, which is its imperfections. While it is true that it is very unreal how good it is and how real it is, there are some imperfections. And OpenAI, which is the company that created ChatGPT and Sora, does admit to that imperfection, which is actually a good thing to me because it's, it, the imperfection is very small, by the way. It's so small. It's so, so small. Of course, unless it's obvious. Well, sometimes AI don't really fully understand what we say yet. So, the, uh, so it could be obviously wrong or it could be very small that you have to really look carefully to find out. Well, I think this is a good time when there are still imperfections for people to explore this thing before it's too late and everything's too perfected. You can't tell the difference between anything. Well, of course there are imperfections right now, but as you can see, ChatGPT is able to give you almost 90% of the time a very, very good answer that you like. And slowly, Sora is going to move towards that as well. And I, in terms of accuracy of what you want, I wouldn't even say that Sora actually loses to ChatGPT. It really does know what you want when it draws out the product, which is very impressive. And on my fifth point, which is adapting to AI. So people that don't adapt to AI and use AI for innovation and growth in the future is truly going to be outdated. And I couldn't put it in a better way because AI truly outperforms human brain. Um, of course, we give AI the idea to perform what we want. But what they can write, what they can do is truly magnificent. And if you don't use it as a tool right now to put it in your benefit, you might not be able to because everyone's going to do it in the future. If you think that this is something bad for human society and you're not going to use it to your benefit, someone else out there will. Adapting to AI is going to be very crucial, just like how Netflix is willing to offer $900,000 to an AI manager position. The world is shifting into using the tool of AI. And that's, and that's very true and it's very happening. So this is why I made it my fifth point to just tell you guys that AI is going to not just take over, but you can use it to your benefit for a better future. And you can just think about how you can fit it in. The small questions, small problems that you have, maybe ask it, maybe innovate it, try to give you ideas for innovation. You can use it for a lot of things, but if you adapt and use it for yourself, for the better good, it's going to affect your future and people that don't are going to be left in the dust. And that's going to be a real situation that, well, of course, that's how I see it. If you have any other perspective, please comment down below. But I hope you carefully consider I hope you consider it because it's coming. So in conclusion, AI is becoming very powerful and it's gonna be the next thing. But that will be it for this video. I'm gonna put a few clips about how good Sora 
is after this but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something out of it and i hope to see you in the next one bye